Hi everyone. Today we are going to practice our red words. Red words are our sight words. They are the words we just need to know. Remember, when we learn a new red word or practice it, we get in our lock and load position. The arm that you write with is the arm that loads the word. And the other arm is locked out straight so that you can tap the letter names right down that arm. Okay, let's practice one together. Lock and load C S E E C Okay, let's practice some more words that we've learned in our other lessons. Get in your lock and load position. Load put. P U T put. Load from. F R O M from. Load do. D O do. Load his. H I S his. Load of. O F of load was W A S was okay we are ready for our new red word for this part of the lesson we use paper that looks like this you can create this on your own or you can use regular paper do whatever works best for you also if you have a red crayon colored pencil or marker, that would be great since we do write these words in red to make them stand out and help us to lock them in our brain. We write these in red here and here and here. In our class, when we are learning a new red word, we use what we call a bumpy screen and put it under this part of the paper. If you have any screen or sandpaper or anything that would provide some texture, that would be great. If not, that's fine too. You will need a pencil or a pen when we get to the end of the lesson. I'll break this down into three parts. So we will do this first and then this, and then we'll finish down here. Okay, here we go. Our new red word is how. I'll come up with a sentence and then I want you to tell somebody at home a sentence with the word how. This is how we learn our new red word. Now it's your turn. Now we're going to lock and load how three times. Load it, how, H, O W how again how H O W how one more time how H O W how with your red crayon or marker let's go ahead and write how three times together H O W how H O W how H O W how Now I want you to take your finger and we're going to skywrite it just like we do in class. So up in the air H O W how H O W how one more time H O W how All right now we're going to take our finger and write over it with our finger H O W how H O W how H O W how 
Now I want you to write it three more times in red. H O W how. H O W how. H O W how. We're going to write the red word how from memory now. So I'd like you to either fold your paper so you can't see what you've already written or just put it off to the side and get a different piece of paper so that you can write it from memory. Go ahead and do that now. Hopefully you remembered H O W how. For the next part of our lesson, this is where we'll write in either pen or pencil. I'm going to dictate a sentence to you. I'll say it two times and I want you to pound it on the third time and then go ahead and write the sentence. Here we go. How big was the fish? How big was the fish? Pound it. How big was the fish? Pause the video and write. I'll go ahead and write mine now. How big was the fish? And I'm asking a question, so I'm going to end it with a question mark. And now I want to go back and underline the red words. So we know how is a red word. We've learned was, and we've learned the. The next sentence is, how can his pig get in the pen? How can his pig get in the pen? Pound it with me. How can his pig get in the pen? Pause the video and write. I'll write mine now. How can his pig get in the pen. And once again, I'm asking a question, so I need to put a question mark. Now, I'll give you a minute to go through and underline the red words that we know, and then I'll do mine. All right, hopefully you underlined how again and his, and the. Let's read our two sentences together. How big was the fish? How can his pig get in the pen? Thanks for joining me on all these lessons. Keep working hard.